Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video. Once again, I made another colossal mistake in my last one, so I had to restart the entire video. Not because it wasn't a scripting error, literally my microphone wasn't on and I was just talking to absolutely nobody. But basically in this video today, we're going to be making a Game Pass door that also includes group rank. Now you're probably wondering, well, why would you need this? Uh, cafes and restaurants. Basically, uh, you have your VIP lounges. You need your workers to serve the VIPs, right? So that's basically what we need. All right, but let's say you also have a game pass, right? So for the nice civilian slash customer slash guests, if you have a game pass, you can enter the VIP lounge. If you're a worker, you can enter the VIP lounge. All right, so that's basically what we're going to be doing today. I'm sure that it has a whole lot of other uses, but those are just like the main ones that I would think because that's specific for this game. So what we're going to start off with is our is a regular part, and we're going to put a script inside of said part. All right, now time for the big time scripting here, all right? And also on top of this, we're also going to make it so that the player that walks through the door will be the only one to walk through the door, meaning he's not allowed to like hold open this door for anybody else. If you have a game pass, only you are allowed to enter. You can't like he won't be able to get his friends in or anything like that. It will just be him or her. All right, so let's go ahead and let's start off with Local brick equals script dot parent. Okay, basically just script dot parent. Okay, I'm not going to go over it again because it was in my last video. Local marketplace service equals game get service marketplace service. Okay, now this service here is going to um, it has a built in function that's called uh, user owns game pass async inside of this service. And basically it's going to check to see if the player owns the game pass. Local replicated storage equals game get service replicated storage. So in order for us to only allow the one player to go back and forth, back and forth, as I mentioned earlier, we need to do what's called remote events. OK, and basically what we need to do is that we need to make a remote event inside of our replicated storage and we're going to call it pass door. All right, you saw me delete it earlier. That was from my first time around, but we create a remote event called pass door. Okay. And inside of here, we're going to say local pass door equals game dot replicated storage dot pass door. Now on top of that, we're also going to say local game pass ID equals blah, 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 whatever your game pass ID is. And finally, local has pass equals false because we're going to go into the script assuming that they don't have the game pass. Now we have to do our actual scripting. Brick.touch connect function hit. Now, if you watch the last video, you'll know that this script will run when somebody touches the brick. Okay, that's what connecting the function means. And basically what hit is, is specifically what touches the brick. So, for example, if the player, let's say the character touches the brick, it's probably going to be left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. Kind of like I ex kind of like I explained in my last video. So the first thing we need to do, local humanoid equals hit dot parent find first child humanoid. Basically, what this does or what we're doing here is that we're checking to see if the thing that touches the the uh, the button is a human. OK, and now what we need to do is get our player game dot players get player from character hit dot parent so our hits parent is going to be our character and you'll see why we need the player from the character so now we need now it's the big one has pass is equal to marketplace service user owns game pass async player dot user id comma game pass id so what this basically does is that we find our player from our character we say, OK, since we found the player from the character, we're now able to find the user ID and it's going to check the game passes of this specific user ID to see if they have this game pass. If has pass. Oh. The, so basically also this also to point out is that this will return true or false. So if they don't have it, it'll be false. If they do, it'll be true. If has passed. So if they do have the game pass or a uh, player get rank in group. And now we need the group ID, which I exit out of Roblox Studio. How very smart of me. Oh, you just 
I just leaked my name, but that is what it is. Uh, don't care. Let's go into hideaway. Let's take a copy of our ID here. Bop. And if our rank is greater than or equal to, let's say zero for now, because we just want to check it. And then finally, what we're going to do is that we're going to say event. Oh, sorry. Pass door. Fire client. Player, comma, brick. And you'll see why we do that when we include our local script, okay? So now let's create a local script and let's put it inside of our starter character scripts. Here we go. All right, so starter character scripts is inside of starter player. Now what we're gonna do first is that we're gonna take pass door and the replicated storage line and we're gonna paste it into our local script. Now inside of our local script, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna say pass door on client event connect function brick okay so basically what we do here is that we take the brick that was touched and we pass it through this function and so now this brick right here this value of brick is going to be now here and now we're able to say brick dot transparency equals one brick dot can collide equals false wait two brick dot transparency equals zero brick dot can collide equals true now basically what we do here okay is that we say okay make the brick invisible and make it so you can walk through it wait a second make it so that's zero make it so that's true and now the last thing that i probably should have done in the first place is a debounce local debounce equals tr true uh we're gonna put it inside of I don't know. We're going to put it inside of here. If debounce, then I'm going to take all this. I'm going to slap it in here. Like I said, I'll, I'll, uh, whatchamacallit. I'll make sure to paste it in for you guys. I'll put it in a way too. So basically what a debounce is, is that nobody can abuse the door and break the door. It basically gives the door a nice cool down before it's able to get ran again. And there we go. So now that should work. So let me go ahead and just test it with one person. And then we're going to try it with two different people. All right. So here's my boy right here. Bam. He can walk right through because he's a G. Let's test it with two different players. Now, last time I did this, my computer crashed. So we're going to see what's up. So last time it crashed. Let's see what's up. It's already not looking too hot considering it exited me out of... Uh, I now have two copies of Roblox Studio open. I don't know what's happening, but I don't know. Yes. Excellent. So my computer crashed again, so we can't test it with two players, but I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that it works. Okay, so uh, Roblox Studio confirm crash my computer. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. All right, so Roblox Studio crash my computer. I love it. Um, so we're just going to hit clean up on this because I'm not messing with it right now, but, um, you could trust me. It'll work. All right, guys. And if it doesn't leave a comment and I'll be sure to get back to it. All right, guys. All right. So like I said, this rank right here, it doesn't have to be zero. You could change it to, if you want only your owner and co-owner, you would say 254. If you only want the owner to have access, you would change it to 255. If you only want your guests, or rather your customers to enter, you could say one. If you want everybody to join, you say zero. Okay. And that, my friends, is basically it. Now it will work. All right, just make sure you change this Game Pass ID to yours. And I think that that's all you have to do. Oh, and also your group rank right here. This is your group ID. Make sure you have your group ID. All right, guys, so that's the end of this video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. All right, thank you, guys. Bye-bye.